The release of APD's proposed budget for next year was highly anticipated amid calls for police reform. City Manager Spencer Kronk says proposed cuts announced today are only the beginning. KXAN investigator Kevin Clark explains what needs to happen before the money is shuffled around. The proposed cuts to APD are modest. $11 million would be moved outside the department or reallocated within it. This $11 million is, it's not nothing, um, but I think we can probably go farther and the council is going to be exploring, I will certainly be exploring through the Public Safety Committee uh, exactly specifically how we can go further. Many of the budget details need to be ironed out in the next few weeks. For example, the city told us they will not fill some vacant positions, so $3 million that likely would have gone to new officer salaries will now go to Austin's Office of Police Oversight and Equity Office. But beyond that, the city says it hasn't hashed out the specifics. City Manager Spencer Kronk says the long-term picture of public safety in Austin is even murkier. We have not heard of what specifically we're looking for what our community is looking for from our police department. He says the community will have to determine what role police should play. A study paid for by the Austin Justice Coalition found that police spent a significant amount of time responding to non-criminal calls. Does it have to be officers every time? Are there other options to provide the level of protection that neighborhoods are asking for? Kronk said examining 911 calls and other data to make decisions has been discussed. He expects cuts to be made over time through budget amendments. It might be years before we look at how to really redefine and reimagine this, but we need to start the process now. Kevin Clark, KXAN News. And we want to make it clear, APD's actual budget number is $150,000 less than it was last year. It still includes a 2% wage increase for current staff and 30 officers that are called for in the five-year police staffing plan. So the $11.3 million that the city manager cut was from the base budget for the fiscal year 2021. He put that together prior to council passing resolutions to divert funds originally allocated for additional officers. So before all the protests and calls to defund police, the force was tentatively slated to get $11 million more than last year. City Council Member Greg Kassar called today's budget proposal a quote step in the right direction. He says he stands along calls demanding a $100 million reinvestment into the community's safety from APD's existing budget. In a tweet, Mayor Steve Adler says that while he appreciates the manager's work, he's not ready to sign off on the proposed budget just yet. He says we need greater assurance that we're leveraging this moment to create what he called transformational change.